Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the charts of Euro, USD, and GBP USD for Monday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So, my dear friends, NFP is over, but sadly, we could not get the direction we wanted. This is the chart of Euro USD, the daily chart of Euro dollar, and we can see that still there is indecision in the market. And if you try to understand the market emotion, you can see dollar ends higher on US labor uh, market strength. US March non from payrolls rose 3 lakh 3,000 stronger than expectations of 2 lakh 14,000. And the biggest increase in 10 months, yes, there was a huge difference between the expected number and the actual number. The March unemployment rate fell 0.1 to 3.8 right on expectations. But sadly, we could not see the same thing on the charts. When the news came out, we were uh, expecting a huge move, but sadly, uh, nothing came. This is a chart of DXY in front of us, and we can see that after the news, market made a high of 104.7 and ultimately settled or closed at 104.28. So, this is a forest chart of DXY in front of us or US dollar index. It may uh, seem that the market is an uptrend, but if we change the time frame or if we just switch to daily time frame and zoom out the chart a bit, do we see an uptrend market? No, we can see that we do not have a direction or the market is purely sideways. Okay, so things are not very clear as of now, but still on Monday or Tuesday, if we see a drop on DXY, you can expect the next support to be around 103.85 to 102. 3.75 this is the first support on the chart of dxy if the volatility is not very high we can expect a bounce around this area and in case market shows extreme selling pressure because market is full of surprises if that happens then this, this second box will be the support that is 103.402 103.20 these are the two levels where we can expect a good bounce on the chart of dxy if that happens you will see Pressure, selling pressure on Euro USD, GBP USD, and others. Okay. Now let's talk about the trading opportunities. So let's move to the four hours time frame. So this is the four hours chart of Euro dollar in front of us, and the best support, or best support, or we have the strongest buyers present around 1.0725 to 1 1.0700. This is the best support on the chart of Euro USD. If market shows downside, you can definitely expect a good bounce around this area. But the problem is that this level is far away from the current market price. And if you are a lover of Euro dollar, you must be knowing that the pair is not very volatile for the last couple of weeks and months. So this level is there, okay, no doubt about it. But the chances of market coming to 1.0725, 1.0700 on Monday is very less. Before the big level, we have the uh, support around 1.0755 to 1.0750. So if you are a day trader and if you are looking for a quick buying opportunity, then before this big level, you can also expect a good bounce around this area. At least you can expect a bounce of 25 to 30 pips if market comes down 1.0755 to 1.0750 and the chart may look sideways but if you look at the chart carefully then we all can we, uh, we can also see that market is forming lower highs what market is forming market is forming lower highs and the formation of lower highs indicate that the strength okay the strength of buyers going down so in the coming days okay if the same uh, market structure remains then market may break the support as well but usually we don't see much uh, pressure not selling pressure or buying pressure okay not uh, we don't see much volatility during the first half of monday so obviously okay uh, we can expect the support to work but in case market surprises us with heavy selling pressure then obviously the support will be uh, not valid okay market will break the support and market will move down and as we can clearly see the structure of the market is not very positive market is warming lower highs okay which shows the increase in um, selling pressure okay so if market goes up then definitely we can also expect a selling pressure around 
1.0900 as well so if market goes up observe the market around this area because we can see a trend line usually i don't uh, talk about trend lines much i'm not a big fan but still we can see that we have a dynamic resistance if market reverses we can hit the sell button around this area as well so buy around this area but this level is far away so we can also look for a buy around this area as well and we can also look for a sell around this area because we have both buying and selling opportunities on the same chart because of the indecision in the market or sideways nature of the market okay and if you're a scalper okay if you're a scalper then you can also look for some quick buy for a seven pips eight pips around 1.0824 to 1.0817 around this area around this area you can also look for a quick buy okay as a scalper do not expect much you can see i have switched to 50 minutes chart right now so hardly you can expect eight pips to 10 pips not more than that if market bounces quickly you can observe buy around this area and to find out these levels we have used fibo you can see we have FIBO 38.2% retracement level as well as FIBO 50%. So if market bounces, if you're a scalper, then you can look for some quick pips around this area. Overall, we don't have much direction. So obviously, um, we need to trade from level to level. Usually, people hate sideways market because traders get trapped. So to save yourself, okay, wait for the right level. Okay, so don't lose your patience. Okay, wait for the right level. That's it. Okay, now let's look at the chart of... Uh, GBP USD. This is the daily chart of British pound US dollar in front of us, and we can see a similar market structure here. Also, we can clearly see that we do not have a trend present. We can consider this as a sideways market. In sideways market, the number of buyers and sellers are almost equal. So as a result, we get trading opportunities on both the sides. Means buy at support, sell at resistance. Again, the same stuff. Most of the tra um, traders hate sideways market because we lose money. But if you want to save yourself and make money at the same time, you will have to wait for the right time. Means level to level trading. Okay, so if you enter on the middle of, middle of the chart, there's a high chance that you will be trapped. So level to level trading is the best trading strategy. And here also buy at support, seller resistance. And let's look at the trading opportunities. So here we have, my dear friends, the first level is around one point. 25 okay 1.2527 to 1.2500 the box here you can see this is the support on the chart of gbp usd but market has already tested the support many times so next time or especially on monday if you see gbp usd around this area you can look for a buy but try to avoid buy immediately during the us session because us session is volatile there's a high chance that market may go for sl hunting okay and during the european session us uh, european session asian session you can expect the market to take support around this area so if market takes support you can go for a buy because market has been testing a level many times but that is also a problem means market test market has tested a level many times means market okay this level has become very common there is too much liquidity around this area so in case you see that market is going down market has crossed to 1.2500 do not take a sell immediately because because of too much liquidity around this area market may go for sl hunting as well you may see the market going below market going to 1.2470 1.2460 and after some time market will be coming up again means after hunting down all the stop losses market will go up again so be careful of the support buying at support especially during the us session but during the asian session european session you can expect the market to bounce if market bounces according to our expectations we can definitely hit the buy button but on the other hand if you see gbp usd going up in that case you can look for a sell around 1.2755 to six zero and one point two seven one five two two zero these are the two levels where we have um uh, that we have uh, derived from the fibonacci fibo 50 and fibo 61.8 so if market goes up as the market is sideways if market reverses if you see market is showing price rejection from below you can hit the sell button how much you can expect you can expect at least 40 to 50 pips around these areas okay but yes when market will enter the zone, it will be difficult for you to understand whether 
market will reverse or not so we can switch to a lower time frame like 15 minutes on 15 minutes time frame okay no need to look for any particular pattern because practical trading doesn't work that way in most of the time you will not get the your favorite candlestick patterns okay once you'll see market is showing prices action from below that will be enough hit the sell button and follow proper risk management so both the charts euro usd gbp usd are sideways in nature means we have equal number of buyers and sellers so as a result we can look for buy at support sell at raises but on the chart of euro usd we can see that though we have a support but market structure is slowly changing okay market is forming lower highs so gbp usd is a better chart for sideways market lovers so here buy at support sell at resistance that's it okay so that's all from my side my dear friends if i have missed anything write down in the comment section i would love to learn thank you so much bye bye take care have a lovely weekend